What's up, all you Sunday morning beer drinkers? Welcome to the championship video! Wah! Yeah. That's how you do an introduction. It's championship week here at the Sunday Morning Beer Drinkers. I got everything you need to know about everything that's goings on. All the what's happenings and the what's to do's and the who's a what's it's. Uh, I got I got teasers. I got stories. Uh, I got I got I got backstories. Uh, a front story or two is probably going to come out unprecedented is what i'm driving at this video here lots of promises being made uh i hope to deliver let's dive right in a shall we <laughs> yes wow well ah this week features a championship matchup between the puyallup phoenixes and the West Coast Bulldogs. However, before we talk about that, let's take a look at how we got here. Hmm. There's probably I could like there's probably a sound effect I could put in there from the thing from the software that I use to make these videos, but I feel sometimes that it's just more organic and real to make the sounds with my mouth, which is why I do that. Uh, Anyhow, if you look, uh, I think it's this way. Am I doing that? Right? I am. I did it. I did it right. If you look over here, um, you will notice that uh, I have a review. Um, I have a scoreboard. I have a scoreboard posted. Uh, so let's talk about the game between the number one overall seed, the West Coast Bulldogs, and the person who is attempting to take down the number one seed, the rebuilding year of John Colts. Uh, what a game. Like, it was, we were biting nails. Uh, we were biting nails the entire time. If you were emotionally invested in this game, um, then I feel for you. Because uh, it was very exciting. Uh, despite how sad the scores were. Like, basically what I'm driving at is all the way through, uh, it was kind of, it was kind of open. There was no, the doors did not shut, uh, proverbially shut on anybody. Um, Garrett came out the victor by a score of 99.6 to 77.2. He was able to survive an awful day from Dak Prescott and Tony Pollard. His team carried by Debo Samuel and none other than the state's defense wouldn't have expected it but uh but there it is uh, rebuilding year got a heroic effort from matthew stafford who did uh the best that his old bones could do however that was not enough to overcome uh, a one-point effort from odell beckham jr and the unfortunate starting of the Los Angeles Chargers defense that, let's be honest, when we all witnessed it, we were like, that should be it for you, Colts. Like, rest in peace, buddy. Uh, somehow, it's only negative two points. And I think that's because we literally put a stopgap in that's like, you sh your, your, your team shouldn't outright lose you the thing but in years past um that defensive scoring could have been like negative 15 it was bad so um while it was tight it was a good game i think that we all agree that colts deserved to lose because he started the chargers defense and um and ball don't lie so yeah there you have it uh moving on moving on talk about the upstart Puyallup Phoenixes taking on the other guy coming off a of bye, El Cucaracha. Uh, the Puyallup Phoenixes came rolling into this. Uh, the underdogs. 
and uh, they looked at the projections and they said, you know what? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. If you know Kevin, you know that he is a ball of positivity. Uh, just crammed into a pale little redheaded vessel. Streaming positivity. And uh, so I know that he was definitely not sitting at home cussing out his team. He was uh, at no time did he doubt his ability to get the dub. Uh, he was continually supporting his crew. Uh, while he got a lackluster performance from Josh Allen, only coming in uh, coming in sub twenty points, uh, he knew on uh, after Thursday night with Devonte Adams scoring sixteen points uh, that he was in a good spot. He did not get the career day from Evan Ingram again, but a solid 49ers defense and uh, a good showing from Raheem Mostert was enough to propel him over El Cucaracha. Bentler riding his, uh, his, his, his money wagon, his show ponies, basically just jumping on the, the you know, Tua Tonga Vailoa. Uh, and the Miami Dolphins offense um, had a great day. However, that did not transfer into amazing fantasy points for Tua. Uh, Both of these teams were heavily invested in what Miami was doing, and uh, the Puyallup Phoenixes got the better half of that. So uh, B. John Robinson, who killed many a fantasy owner this week, Ultimately, cost El Cucaracha uh, his his shot at the his shot at the title, um, along with really subpar performances from uh, his entire wide receiving core. Zero touchdowns from his wide receivers. So uh, El Cucaracha, he gave it a he, he sure gave it a go. Uh, he was he was looking forward to it. But the Puyallup Phoenixes will rise up and head to the championship. Let us then project the championship in the early projections you will see that vegas has the west coast bulldogs taking this uh taking this mashup by not a small margin the west coast bulldogs are heavily favored from uh running back all the way through the wide receiver group and the tight ends however I do believe that the Puyallup Phoenixes are destined for greatness and they are indeed facing a trial from the fantasy football gods to assess their worthiness of the championship ring of the Sunday morning beer drinkers and to hoist the John Garner trophy. I, your commissioner, formally place my wager on the Puyallup Phoenixes to win it all here in the Sunday Morning Beer Drinkers Championship. Raheem Mostert and Devontae Adams along with Josh Allen taking on the broken Los Angeles Chargers will be enough to lead them over the victory of the West Coast Bulldogs despite multiple touchdowns and a huge day from Debo Samuel and uh, Travis Etienne. However, I think Dak Prescott will struggle. Dak Prescott will struggle. Therefore, I give the edge to the Puyallup Phoenixes. It's going to be an exciting time. The never-before-crowned champion Puyallup Phoenixes taking on the former champion Garrett Premel and the West Coast Bulldogs in the championship for the Sunday morning beer drinkers. It's anybody's game. The Puyallup Phoenixes are a heavy underdog, but I do believe that they can rise up from the ashes once again to take the title. Uh, and Kev, let's be honest, man. Like, it's not like you're projected to win. So everybody loves an underdog story, but I think you're safe from the heartbreaking defeat that you suffered many years ago. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. 
I'm glad you're here. I think you and Garrett are very deserving. And you must take down the Goliath if you indeed want to be crowned a Sunday Morning Beer Drinkers champion. Can't wait for it. It's going to be great. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I will obviously have a very exciting video for the winner coming up. All right. Peace.